Alright, sorry, uh, video cut out. I'm, on, I'm streaming from the PlayStation 4, so... Vi well, not streaming, but recording video, so it's gonna always limit itself to about an hour, but... Um, so, this is episode 3, last episode, and it's just the credits rolling, and... And I was gonna give more commentary to this game, so... Um... So what do I think of this game? This game is phenomenally good. Very short, only two hours, as obvious, as you could obviously see. But, man, I enjoyed every single bit of those two hours. It was just such a beautiful and emotional experience. I mean, it was like you really got a sense of life when you played this game. And so, you know, after finishing this game off, I am actually very curious about Journey. So now after playing this, I, I would like to play Journey, but I'm going to wait on that because I still have other games to play. So, but yeah, this was uh, very, very cool. I like this game. It's, it was a phenomenally good game. Um, yeah. Very cool. The music was phenomenal too. I mean, it, the music really sucked you in. The colorful artwork sucked you in. All the, uh, I mean, it was like, it was trying to tell a story without using any type, without using any words. You know, just through action and through the environment, the things that just happen within the game. It was just, it was just kind of cool. And all the aquatic life that you see. Uh, my apologies if I can, if I've uh, inaccurately named some of the creatures in the ocean. I am not all that familiar with aquatic life, so hopefully I did at least a decent job of, you know, naming the animals off, and also a decent job of trying to explain the story, even though it was kind of corny to be honest. <clears throat> but, anyways. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, it's a really good game. And I guess I'm just going to end the uh, this last episode with, uh, with me just swimming with my bestie. And the rest of the credits going off, so... Alright, take care.